today. Welcome to the Rotary eClub off Wall Street. Um, it is a great honor for me to help shape the coming year as your club president. I have to admit I'm both a little nervous but also excited. Our last year was extremely successful. We've communicated a lot about our achievements on social media in the past few weeks and also in our last meeting. Linking to these successes will be a challenge, but the new board under my leadership is very happy to accept it. At this point, I would once again like to thank the board of 2019 and 20, which is Jason Gonzalez, who was president, Mike Beeney as vice president, Bim Kemper as secretary, Haroon Ali as treasurer, Susanne Gennert as director of service and community engagement, Jan Holz as membership chair, and Thomas Rudy as our foundation chair. So please give a big applause to all your work and efforts. Thank you so much. And especially uh, thank you to Jason who helped me get into this job I'm doing now. <laughs> so um, I've long thought about what our goals should be for this year. At this point, I would like to thank all participants in our survey. The results, as promised, have been incorporated into our goals for this year, of course. There are so many ideas and there are so many needs, both in our communities and in the world. We are a truly international club. There's not just this one community in which we can be active. Even if New York and our district naturally make all of us feel home, right? I myself live in, and work in Germany, which is quite far away from Wall Street. When I was asked two years ago by Susanne whether I would or I could imagine becoming a member of this wonderful club, I knew about Rotary, but I was not familiar with the concept of an e-club. In the end, it was in fact one of the reasons why I joined. Since then, I've never regretted my membership. It has been two great years and, by the way, my first two years as a Rotarian. I never thought that our meetings would make me feel at home since we only meet online, even before Corona. I guess the reason for me feeling at home is next to the spirit of Rotary is you, our club members. And from my point of view, this is the basis for all the big things that we can pursue and achieve together in the future. The feeling of friendship, the joy of working together to plan and implement projects and thus achieve the goals we set ourselves. Let's chat more often this year and start talking even about private matters. Let us not forget about our membership. Or let's not forget that our membership is in this club should be fun and can be a very special social and business network of its own. I still don't know about everyone what he or she does professionally in detail, how your families are doing, what your hobbies are. This year, I would like to promote getting to know each other better, both in our regular Zoom meetings and through additional social events. Rather than setting a specific target for increasing the number of our members, we should rather think about how to grow in a sustainable way. Let's focus on keeping current members engaged and increasing overall engagement and then adding new members who are the right fit for our club. I have to give special praise for the selection of speakers in our meeting so far. What an added value for everyone who joined. We had, I think, two awesome panel discussions. I think they were amazing. And also many, many more speakers. I like to think of our great panel discussions and then I think about Nick. Thanks for being a wonderful host and moderator at those meetings. At the same time, I would like to see more of our club members willing to speak on a topic this year. Give us insights into your exciting industries. Introduce us to your own business. Report from your hometown and your communities. It doesn't have to be more than 10 minutes. You probably don't even need a presentation. I'm sure the audience, our members, maybe also guests from the outside, will be very interested in what you have to say. We want to promote this exchange even more, and I will therefore provide the framework for it. Let's run service projects also in those communities where you and your families live, in your neighborhood. 
Whenever Susanne called for our service project in New York City, the Bauer mission, for example, I was a little jealous, I must admit. I would have loved to help and be part of the group that gives out food to the homeless or gives Christmas presents to children from a difficult background. I think the wonderful photos, I think of the wonderful photos you always share in our group chat. Thank you so much for sharing those moments. I want us as a club to partner with other Rotary clubs and local institutions more often to make a difference locally. I would like, at least for those who wish, that we offer our own or joint service projects even beyond the borders of New York City and our district. I can tell you when we handed over our hygiene kits and masks for the homeless and people without health insurance here in Hamburg as part of an international COVID-19 response project, it felt so fulfilling for me. The magic of making a difference and seeing the result and the joy is something very special. Our club will be happy to help you get in touch with local partners. Even if I live far away, kind of far away, I will try to continue networking in our district. We're looking forward to working closely with our district governor or our assistant governor to extraordinary Rotarians and friends of our e-club. Our neighboring clubs also have many great ideas, by the way, that we can help with or the other way around. COVID-19 forces those traditional clubs to meet online. This is a chance for us to invite each other to meetings and get to know each other more easily. Let's connect. Most of you will surely remember our entrepreneurship camp in Haiti a couple of years ago. What a great project. Since then, Haiti has never let go of us. Only recently did an alumni of this camp decide to switch their production from backpacks to masks with success. And we supported it, of course. One of our members, Albert, has been busy planning the construction of a primary school building in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. We will continue to support this project. Overall, our club is very interested in supporting education and the development of future leaders. There are many ways to achieve this. Without revealing too much right now, I can tell you we will be presenting new ideas in the coming weeks on how theoretically all of our members, no matter where they live, can contribute online. Even fellow Rotarians and Rotaractors from our district can play an essential role. You will hear about it very soon. I learned a lot about the many ways of fundraising and utilizing grants this year or last year, I should say. Our first online wine tasting in Germany was success. Incidentally, this event was also an opportunity to get to know each other personally. I found the idea of our friends in Haiti to organize a virtual charity concert very inspiring. After all, over 100,000 viewers have tuned in. Both the wine tasting and the live concert are different formats but serve the purpose of collecting money for a good cause. And the same, at the same time, having a very nice evening online. So let's do more of that. That was so much fun. The new president of Rotary International, Holger Knack, by the way, a member of a German Rotary Club in the neighborhood of Hamburg, so my hometown, revealed the 2020-21 presidential theme, Rotary Opens Opportunities at the Rotary International Assembly in San Diego. He said, everything we do opens another opportunity for someone somewhere. For our members, this motto should mean being able to develop personally and to build international relationships. For all of us, including the beneficiaries of our projects, the aim is to improve lives and create a better world and support peace and of course, end polio. Rotary isn't just a club to join, he said, but rather an invitation and to create a better world. Yes. Let us fill this motto with life in the Rotary E-Club of Wall Street way. Thank you very much. And now I think it's time to throw the spotlight on my valued colleagues on the new board. I would 
ask all of you to introduce yourself and uh, briefly explain your area of re responsibility this year. If you need volunteers or helpers this year for your tasks, this would be probably the perfect time to promote it. So uh, let's start with uh, the new vice president, Nick. Would you like to take over? Thank you very much for introduction. And um, yes, it's an honor. So let's say with uh, our words of Mr. Um, Tom, what was his name? I don't recall. Um, I'm your wingman, so I'm responsible for whatever might happen in the background, so each and every meeting. Um, so I will assist as during the last year, and it's a great honor. Um, just went through the chat section. I'm very happy to see many faces um, we invited. So, so my, my duties is more or less to um, yeah, support our meetings. And um, so what I can share in terms of my rotary moment, I would oh, not, not, love yet, not yet, not that, that comes later. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so my connection to Rotary Wall Street is a um, long time ago. In 2012, I got in touch with the club uh, through this toy uh, drive prior to Christmas, uh, right after Hurricane Sandy. So that was my connection to Rotary Wall Street. Well, I was still living in New York, um, doing research. And um, so as Jason mentioned, um, we met in person last year. And so I never thought, because my concept of these traditional clubs was always, um, how could I deal with uh, physical meetings when I'm traveling and um, the physical distance? And so that was the reason why I really loved the concept of an e-club. Um, and I guess, as I said previously, um, there are just few people who can imagine um, how many WhatsApp we're sending back and forth. And I guess that's one of our advantages to really, um, yeah, fast acting on certain projects. We have very small groups um, targeting different projects. And I'm amazed and I'm very grateful that we're able to um, realize certain topics. Uh, that was amazing. So I guess that's all for now. And thank you so much. Of course. So the next uh, board member would be our new treasurer, Jan Holz. Oh. Hello, everybody. First of all, I want to say thank you to Benjamin. I think it was an amazing opening um, speech and I will support you fully with all the goals and I'm very excited to involve all our club members and guests and, and federatarians to really push through and, and, and overachieve our goals this year. Um, yeah, according to my personality, I'm Jan Hals. I'm a member of the club for, I think, six years now. Um, I've been past president. Um, last year I was a membership chair. Um, and this year I'm the treasurer, which is a new area for me. So I will make sure that we um, hold our money together and spend it on good causes. Um, yeah. Very Thank much excited awesome. for this year. So the next one in line would be our new secretary, uh, Wim Kemper. Let me unmute myself, yeah. Thank you, Benjamin, for this really motivating speech. <laughs> Fantastic. And I remember that we met on a Christmas market in Hamburg very first time, which was uh, quite funny in e-club, but still these members are really existing. So yes, my, introduce myself. It's my second year as a secretary and I would love to serve the club, of course, serve the Rotary community and help the people in need, of course, with uh, all the things that we do, like last time, but this is, it will follow, I think, the moment. So uh, uh, yes, I'm a member of Rotary for 12 or 14 years now. I started in a regular club. I moved to the United States. I left my former club in Germany, but of course there was Susan Gallard. I think she is trained in collecting members and people <laughs> in an amazing way. So I became member of the club Wall Street. And when I moved back to Germany, I was kind of sad and I was so happy when I get the call, we want to change to an e-club and I was immediately there, of course. So I'm happy to follow this way as an e-club and it's 
also nice to meet you in person, of course, and it works as an e-club. Thanks, Wilm. Next one in line would be our club membership chair, Haroon Ali. Oh, you have to unmute yourself. <laughs> you hear me now? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, perfect. Um, thank you, Ben, for your speech. Very, very inspiring. Hey, everybody, I'm Haroon. I'm based in New York. Um, I'm with Rotary now, like two years now. I served as a treasurer last year. Now I'm in the member membership share, and I'm I'm very happy to um, answer all your questions regarding membership for um, current members and also for new members. Let's see how we can engage and, and make this very, very, very special this year. Absolutely. Thank you. So our Club Rotary Foundation Chair, Albert. It's your turn. Okay. Oh, hello, everybody. Um, I am Albert. Um, I'm based in Haiti. So um, I really started my uh, journey into Rotary as a, a, rot a Rotary spouse. And I would uh, go to meetings in Haiti that were entirely in French and um, lots of speeches that I didn't really understand uh, a whole lot of what was being said. So I was very grateful to find the uh, Rotary E-Club because for me it's a much better experience because I can understand what people are, are saying and doing. And Benjamin, you you took a, a little bit of my, my uh, thunder because you were so inspiring with your with what you said earlier. Um, and apparently as uh, I've looked through the uh, task of a foundation chair. Uh, one of one of my tasks is to inspire the group to give money to the foundation and to get involved with projects. So I think you you're going to make my job pretty easy, which I really appreciate. Uh, nice meeting everybody. Thanks. Thank you so much. So our director of service and projects, service projects and community engagement, Susanne. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Benjamin. And um, as everybody said, thank you for your very inspirational words. And I am also, um, for everyone who doesn't know me, I'm also based in New York. I'm part of the founding member team. And um, I'm so happy, you know, that we um, are at this point where we successfully establish our e-club and, um, yeah, are doing a lot of good things. And um, I'm right now in Ibiza, Spain, taking a week off um with my very very dear friends so that's why you see me here in a very nice environment i am um in charge of our service project and ever since i joined rotary that's you know the dearest part to me to to really make a change and i think our club has been doing a really really amazing job supporting different you know organizations in new york the bowery mission nazareth housing coalition for the homeless and uh, doing many, many more things. And our goal for the next year, we discussed this on the board, would be to establish a few more service projects at, in, in Germany and at other locations where our members are at. So I look very much forward to the next year with all of you. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone. That's that for me. Thank you so much, Susanna. So next we have put together some photos from last year for you these photos awaken beautiful moments in, in me at least uh, i'm curious what you will say about it so jason do we have the photos ready does it work uh, yeah we'll test it out so uh, i'll go ahead and share my screen awesome thank you should jason also introduce himself as the immediate past president I'm sorry, you're actually right. Jason, would you please introduce <laughs> uh, yourself? Even though I think many people know you, but you're yeah, absolutely... He just skipped it because you don't need an introduction. <laughs> Everybody knows him. Um, well, my name is Jason Gonzalez. I'm the immediate past president of this club. And I've had the pleasure um, for the past year to um, uh, build on new ideas com coming from our members, coming from our board members, helping grow them globally and really um, show that uh, E-clubs aren't just uh, a bunch of uh, talking heads on Zoom, but that we take action locally and we 
we gather from around the world to have uh, socials and to have fundraisers. And especially during this COVID um, period when we're all sort of an e-club for the last few months, uh, we've been sharing our insights and our experiences with other traditional clubs to help them continue to grow and, and, and really captivate the, uh, their rotary spirit of service above self and, and engage their community. Uh, so um, uh, with that, uh, we have a few photos uh, that sort of paint the picture of our past year, uh, a lot from our members. Somebody had mentioned that there's a lot of WhatsApp messages and that's completely true. There's a ton. Uh, and, and it's actually a really good way to just simply scroll back and look at the memories. Um, I was actually looking back uh, yesterday at some of these photos from a couple of years ago and it, it really brought back um, some, good, uh, some good feelings. So I definitely recommend that to any Rotarian uh, in any club, maybe have some sort of easy uh, communication tool like, like WhatsApp where you can share day to day and not just focus on the business or the, the service, but also the persons like Benjamin had mentioned. Um, so that's, that's uh, me and- um, Thank you. And I'll go ahead and share um, this sort of video that we put together. Um, hopefully the sound works, uh, let's, let's go for it. The sound does not come through, but at least for me. Okay, with that. Wow. <laughs> so sorry, music to come fix it. We'll put it on social too. Thank you so much, Jason. Can you, uh, can you reveal which, which song was supposed to be played? Because I couldn't hear anything, but what was the song? Yeah, uh, it, uh, it was a mixture of upbeat sort of uh, remixes. So um, it sounds. All right. But the, the photos were beautiful. Thank you so much for preparing that. Uh, I'm full of emotions. That's, that's, that's awesome. Um, so before we uh, move on to uh, the Rotary moment, which you may share with us, um, I would uh, like to remind you that today there is something to celebrate, as I said. Can you see this bottle? So it's... Uh, 6.30 in Germany, so it's after work for me. Um, so I would love to raise my glass. I hope you also have something to drink, uh, even if it's not alcohol. Uh, so please, let's toast. 
uh, and really hope for a wonderful next year. If you have something to drink, please share with us your picture. Wonderful. Yes, I can see some, some glasses and bottles. <laughs> Cheers to all of you. Thank you so much Cheers. for joining. We appreciate that. Cheers to it all. Cheers, everyone. I like, I like Wayne's uh, pa uh, plastic cup. <laughs> Nobody knows what's in there, huh? <laughs> 12.30. <laughs> um, so, <coughs> in this meeting, we announced that we would like to share our very personal memories of our Rotary moment uh, from last year. Um, this is deliberately not about dollars or statistics. Um, it's what Rotary is also about, very special moments. And so we have a few people in line who would like to share their moment. And then after, afterwards, we will uh, start uh, breakout sessions. So you will be in smaller groups and can uh, share your moments as well. Um, and first of all, um, I would like to invite Jan to share his Rotary moment of last year. Yes, I will. So actually, um, yeah, so I wanted to quickly um, share a moment um, about our mask project and I wanted to connect it to our um, uh, model from last year, connecting the world, because I think it's so much um, connected to, to what our club stands for. And Jason is showing the picture, which I wanted to show. So we see all those people with masks all over the, all the world. Um, and this is how we connect the world. Um, what I love about that project is we started out with, with an idea of producing a mask and within days it became not only a fundraiser, it um, uh, connected people um, on clubs to, to help and, and work on this together. We worked with clubs in Haiti to distribute them. We worked with um, new clubs which we didn't know in Detroit and Hamburg to distribute them in those, two, um, those communities. We worked together with existing um, um, organizations organizations, um, the Bar Mission, um, and, and I really love that about Rotary, that we were able, with one idea, bringing um, people together and, and, and new ideas coming out of it. Um, we're still working on a project in Haiti for another global brand. Was it just so, um, it, right now. It's amazing what I think what a small idea can do um, to bring people together and I hope they're going to be more like Okay, uh, the, the sound is uh, kind of difficult. That's right it? Um, I think we, we got oh, that connection. Yeah, maybe you may repeat like the last 10 minutes. Uh, sorry, the 10 seconds. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Could you say it again? Because the, the connection was bad. Okay, I guess it's still a bad connection. Um, thanks, Jan. Um, maybe we uh, move on to Wilm. Maybe we'll try uh, if the sound is better for Wilm. Can you yes. hear me? Yes, I unmuted myself. Yeah. Okay, I, of course, I was organizing the online wine meeting just a second, uh, now you see my video, which was a very nice experience inspired by a club in Hamburg who worked on that, gave us the idea. Unfortunately, we could only deliver the wine inside the country due to uh, the COVID situation. So only the Germans could drink together. <laughs> but uh, I guess we're, this idea might be copied in the United States too one day, Jason. I think you are already on the road for that to organize that too. But uh, my personal Rotary moment was, there were many, but uh, I was a member of a former club, of course, a traditional club here in Germany. And when they heard that I was becoming a member of an e-club, it was awkward to them. How can this be? How can this work? We never heard about that. This was last year. And then suddenly Corona came into our lives and they called me immediately, listen, we know that you are organizing these uh, meetings, can you help us? So it was really nice to, trans, uh, to transit into their lives of Rotary 
and to organize meetings for them. And of course, they joined the online meeting with drinking wine with us together. So this was a very funny experience, how they called me. Listen, please help us to get online to share Rotary events. Okay, great. Thank you. I joined the wine tasting. It was so much fun and I was a little bit drunk afterwards, but of course. Um, <laughs> so sorry. So um, next in line, uh, I would like to invite uh, Haroon to share his moment. Unmute yourself. Unmute. Unmute. Again. Can I hear you? Hello. Yes, now it works. Thanks. Oh my God, so many problems today. Uh, um, yeah, I want to share my, my Rotary moment. Um, um, that was when I met Raul last year, when our club brought him to Ryla. Ryla is a Rotary Youth Leadership Awards in Washington, D.C. So Ryla is a youth program for tomorrow's leaders where they can um, learn from each other, build communication, problem skills, um, and also, of course, having fun and lasting friendships. So that was my Rowdy moment when I met him in New York. And for me, it was very special to actually learn from, from actually from young leader. This was, was very, very special for me. Thank you, Haroon. So next on my list is Thomas, a new member. Uh, would you like to share your moment? Yeah, thank you very much, Benny. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Thomas and I just uh, joined the club recently. Uh, my rotary moment for for the past year was definitely volunteering on several occasions at the Bowery Mission. Um, it's just uh, uh, enlightening to see how grateful the people are, right? Uh, and uh, you get so much back of of these uh, of these uh, ho of the homeless people. And um, yeah, it's definitely something what I just want to encourage, encourage everyone to do uh, even uh, during that corona crisis uh, we can't stop doing what what is right to do and uh, therefore we, we just need to um, yeah stand up and uh, do our things and help our communities um, even though we are sticking in that crisis thank you so much thomas so next in line would be um, Michaela um, talking about a moment, I think in Germany, right? So would you like to share that moment? Sure, does everybody hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, exactly. So actually um, I have to say like Will, um, I think mentioned, there are so many moments, right? And um, I wanna use that quick moment to thank Susanne one more time, my colleague and friend who actually brought me to Rotary or to this club. And last year um, were two inspiring moments that came together. And one of them was, um, and it was even in the slideshow, so it was awesome to see um, our breakfast in Hamburg um, that we had around the convention, which was really great to, you know, finally meet some more people and really make new friends um, through Rotary. And I was pregnant at that time. And that leads into the next um, special moment where I was actually inspired also through um, a Rotary colleague to donate um, by my birthday um, gift, so to speak, um, because like I said, I was pregnant at that time. Um, we now have a little baby girl, Olivia, and her birthday is the day before my birthday. So with the hurricane um, back then happening in the Bahamas, um, like I said, I was inspired by a Rotary friend to do a little donation and ask instead of gifts, um, for yeah a donation for kids babies mothers um that um, need the support um that you know have been affected by the hurricane back then so and that was very inspiring um we even um, received a little bit of money from friends also through rotary but other friends as well um that we were able to donate and that was really yeah one of the highlights so again thanks for for the great inspiration for all the great friends that i met so far unfortunately i haven't been too active. Um, Olivia is taking quite some time currently too from us, but yeah, it's really a great network and I'm looking forward to, to the upcoming year. So that was my little highlight. Thank you so much. By the way, I like the name Olivia. That's a nice one. Thank you. <laughs> so when will Olivia become a road director? Right? <laughs> um, 
insist on that. Soon, soon, soon. <laughs> Make she's sure on the she's list, Will. <laughs> soon, very soon. Yeah. So next uh, in line would be uh, Nick. Please share your moment. Now it's your turn. <laughs> of course. Um, actually, I have some Rory moments uh, this year. The first was in January, I got um, a voicemail from Pia, our partner in Berlin on our global rent because she's, she was very uh, desperate because of numbers and new regulations. And in January, she said, okay, the global grant went through and so we'd been really happy and that was prior to uh, COVID-19. So besides this, and this is, I guess, the, the biggest um, Rotary moment, um, I was in charge um, to planning with you guys um, the panel sessions on hygiene and health and on economy um, due to COVID-19. And I would label it as like taming or motivating the alpha beasts because I received so many uh, potential speakers and I try to match them in terms of hierarchy, in terms of transparency. And um, I guess for all of you who uh, weren't able to join, it went uh, quite well. Of course, behind the scenes, uh, our board members uh, know what I'm talking about, but um, it was really, really nice because um, prior to the, the sessions, I had the uh, honor to interview each of our speakers and it was a lot of about um, telling them okay you are enough because uh, not every one of, of them is uh, used to uh, sit in a virtual online meeting um, a panel discussion uh, just talking to your camera and I guess that was a learning for many of them and um, what I really uh, like to transport uh, to them it was I guess this is a motto of our club is teamwork versus ego because I love the, the concept of teamwork, um, calling it together, everyone achieves more. And that's, I guess, one of our leading principle in terms of grades and hierarchy. And I guess that is one of my greatest moments, uh, which I, that I face each and every uh, day uh, communicating with you guys on the board um, and so I guess for no no one of us knows how long we'll have this COVID-19 situation but uh, for me it's the concept teamwork versus ego and it works quite well for our club I guess thank, thank you. you that's nice so last on my list is Albert would you like to share your moment your rotary moment Oh, I, I definitely would, uh, and uh, thanks, thanks for the opportunity. Um, my Rotary moment actually came a couple of days ago, uh, Monday. Um, we had a, a meeting, oh, we call the, the bosses meeting. The bosses are like the superintendents of the construction or the supervisors of construction or, or leaders of each trade, so we have a mason boss and we have a steel boss and we have a carpenter boss and um, this was kind of six months of or, or more in the making but we we got everybody together and kind of thrashed out like the last details of who's going to get paid and when and who's going to do what work and where we're going to start. And we, we, uh, I'm glad to know that this club endorses the use of alcohol because, <laughs> and maybe that helped because I, we were in a, a pizza shop that was our conference area. And, um, I thought, well, you know, maybe, you know, while we're waiting around, I'll, I'll buy a couple of, of the local beer, which is prestige. That's the bottle. And, um, so I started buying, Kind of rounds of prestige and um, it seemed like the more bottles of prestige were stacked up on the table the better the meeting went and um, it it really was very positive and we 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 seem to be on a very good track to, to start um, next we really hope to start digging in the ground next week 
uh, to start building this this school. And um, so it's a it's a total rotary project. It's it's a, a kind of a spinoff or its roots are in the entrepreneurs camp, which shows you that you really don't know the ripple effects of things that we do today of how they might turn out tomorrow. Um, but because of the entrepreneurs camp, connections were made and people got to know each other. And it turns out that now people that we met in the entrepreneurs camp are the people that we're working with to build the school. So uh, it's just great to be part of this. And uh, the support of this club is, is truly amazing. And um, so, but that moment of the, the beer summit or whatever it was, a lot of prestige we have some video, it's probably 50 bottles of prestige on the table by the time we were done. Um, but that was, was my rotary moment of, of this past year. Thanks, Albert. That's nice. So now we would like to invite you to share your rotary moment with others in breakout sessions. Uh, by the way, this is a wonderful feature of Zoom, uh, which I've just gotten to know recently. Uh, and uh, we wish you a lot of fun. And then we'll see you again here in the big room. I would say let's give it five minutes. Is that okay? Jason, what do you think? Is five minutes appropriate? Yeah, that's great. Yep, so five minutes. So um, we're going to send everyone to some breakout rooms and um, okay. you'll automatically be placed in there. Uh, if you're new to Zoom, uh, it's just a, a separate room that you can easily exit by clicking the bottom uh, button if you want. And, uh, it, and if you have any troubles, just um, type something in the chat. Hi guys, can you can you hear me? Hi guys, can you hear me?